On this channel, we love exploring new and creative takes on the internal combustion engine. We love the sound and feeling of a true fuel-fed engine. So when a new engine or technology crosses my radar that seems cool, I have to do some further research. Today, we'll be taking a look at in-engines E-Rex and the Rex B. Now, there really isn't a lot on these engines. I couldn't find any real articles in English or interviews on this engine. P.S. I pre-record videos, so maybe by the time this video comes out, there might be an interview or article out. But as for now, when I am making this video, the only articles I could find were in a different language. So I had to like Google Translate and then go to the actual website where they try and explain the engine as well. But this engine seems pretty cool. And it's what they call a one-stroke engine. So let's go a bit deeper in this engine and find out exactly what makes it different. So InEngine is a pioneering company in engine technology and they have developed two groundbreaking concepts, the E-Rex and the Rex B. These engines feature the in-engine patented one-stroke technology, offering significant advantages over two-stroke and four-stroke engines with improved power, efficiency, compactness and reduced emissions. The in-engine one-stroke engines are poised to revolutionize engines in various applications including range extender systems, aviation, power generators, marine propulsion and other hydrogen applications. So how does it work? Well, the in-engine's one-stroke technology is based on a unique design that enables four times more power events per revolution compared to a conventional four-stroke engine and twice more than a two-stroke engine. By eliminating the crankshaft, valves, camshaft and cylinder head, the one-stroke engine achieves remarkable reductions in size and weight, making it highly compact and lightweight. According to them, one of their units will be twice as powerful as a traditional four-stroke engine of the same size, whilst being 70% lighter and 55% smaller. The in-engine's unique one-stroke engine design combines the efficiency of a four-stroke engine with the simplicity and compactness of a two-stroke engine. This innovative engine operates on a system of two identical reciprocal cam tracks, which define the engine's cinematic properties. The cam tracks project onto a hollow and split main shaft. The engine utilizes an opposed piston configuration where two piston groups work in tandem. The linear stroke of the pistons is transformed into rotational movement by interacting with the cam tracks. This interaction also controls the opening and closing of the exhaust ports before intake ports, enabling efficient uniflow scavenging. Now the in-engine's design also allows for a variable compression ratio without requiring complex double crankshaft solutions. Instead, the shifting device controlled by the engine control unit adjusts the axial position of the inner shaft. This offset angularly modifies the cam track profile, dictating both the distribution and compression ratio as per demand. Despite having cylinder ports like a two-stroke engine, the in-engine's operation is fundamentally different. The combustion chamber of a one-stroke engine has two combustion events per revolution, which is four times more than a four-stroke engine and provides double the power of a traditional two-stroke engine. The term one-stroke is used because the engine does not exhibit the emission issues associated with two-stroke engines. Unlike a typical two-stroke engine, the in-engine does not mix oil with fuel and lubricated areas are kept separate from the combustion chamber. Additionally, the piston does not function as a pump to draw air in and these engines incorporate variable port timing among its other distinguishing features. Now, if they drop a more in-depth explanation on how these engines specifically work and how it draws power in and all of that, I will make another video, but I think for now we get the gist of it. So, what is the advantages of the E-Rex engine and the Rex B engines? While these engines, utilizing the one-stroke technology offers numerous benefits over traditional four-stroke engines, as I previously said, they are much smaller and lighter than conventional engines. That coupled with the claim of making double the power of a similar displacement four-stroke engine means that these engines would be great. A better power-to-weight ratio means that an engine doesn't have to work as hard to achieve the same result which means that you'll use less fuel to move the vehicle and it could mean that they are just faster and more fun. Cool, so what is the vision of the company and where do they want to use these engines? Well, the E-Rex engine is specifically developed to meet the upcoming EU7 European emission standards, making it an excellent choice for range extender systems in electric vehicles. It offers reduced consumption and emissions while achieving true zero emissions with green hydrogen. Yes, these engines are hydrogen-fueled. 
but these engines are scalable and can be scaled up to be the main source of propulsion. And the company has actually proved this when installing a 500cc variant of one of these into a Mazda MX-5. The 500cc unit weighs only 35 kilograms and produces 120 horsepower. That's hectic. Firstly, that's a lot of power for a 500cc engine. And secondly, 35 kilograms for an engine producing over 120 horsepower, that's properly impressive. But their vision doesn't stop with road cars. With its compact size, lightweight design and absence of vibrations, the E-Rex engine is well suited for powering light to medium aircraft and drones. It can also serve as an auxiliary power unit in larger aircrafts, eliminating the need for an extra turbine. They also see in-engine as a new generation of portable, ultra-efficient and lightweight power generators. They can meet the demands of various industries such as mining, agriculture and remote locations. These generators will provide reliable power with exceptional fuel efficiency whilst running on green hydrogen. You see, these motors are well designed for hydrogen. With its adaptable power capacity, variable compression ratio and leak-proof combustion chamber, it is an ideal engine for a hydrogen-powered mode of transport, be it on road, on the sea or in the air. To end it off, in engines, revolutionary one stroke engine technology, as demonstrated by the e rex and the rex b engines, offers a paradigm shift in combustion engine design. With its exceptional power, compactness, efficiency, and versatility, the in engine one stroke engines are poised to transform various industries as the in engine continues to advance its engine technology and new era of cleaner, more efficient, and powerful combustion engines are on the horizon. Now, as I said, as more information gets released on this engine i'll make more videos um but as for now this is pretty cool and i would really love to see where they take this in the future but let me know down below what you think of this engine and what you thought of this video did you like it did you dislike it and is there anything that i missed that you know of let me know down below if you guys enjoyed this video please leave a like and subscribe to the channel and if you did like it you'll most probably like most of my other stuff so just go through my channel see if there's something else you like i'll check you guys in the next one cheers eh?